1450, FM 99.3 KNSI. Welcome to Taking You Home with Voight Johnson Real Estate. You can hear this program every Thursday morning at 723 and now Saturday afternoon at 1250 here on KNSI. Start that home search at VoightJohnson.com. Brandon, good to see you. Hi, Bob. We have a great question here, and it's cool. about ARMS, adjustable rate mortgages. Sure, sure. Now, you said they're back. Yes. You're talking off the air, they're back. Was there a time that ARMS went away? Um, not that they went away as if they weren't available. Uh, less but when popular. interest rates were down in the threes, there was just not a need, right? If they right. could lock in gotcha. at three, three and a quarter, three and a half, there really wasn't the financial need for okay. an adjustable rate mortgage. Adjustable rate mortgages. Tell us uh, what that all is. Sure. What that means is you're locked in for a particular amount of time, usually three, five, seven, ten years. And then after that period is lapsed, mm -hmm. the rate can change um, based on the interest rates at that given time. And it's usually capped at how much it can increase. So it usually doesn't increase by more than half a percentage point. Gotcha. But uh, it's important to know what the terms of that adjustable rate mortgages are. Okay. The table is set. Let me read the question. My lender suggests an adjustable rate mortgage to us when getting pre-approved. Can you discuss the pros and cons of an adjustable rate mortgage, Brandon? Sure. So, um, first of all, a lender that just provides options is a good lender. So, an adjustable rate mortgage is not for everyone. It all comes back to your um, tolerance of risk mm -hmm. and what you feel comfortable with. There's nothing that's perfect for you if you don't feel comfortable with it, whether it's financing or anything okay. um, in the real estate market. But interest rates being over seven now, what the advantage is to an adjustable rate mortgage is, is you're locked in at a lower interest rate, usually a point, point and a half lower mm -hmm. than what's par. So you could probably get um, under six right now, locked in for let's say five years. And so it depends on the price point of the home. If you're buying a $350,000 home, you're gonna save thousands and thousands of dollars over that first five years. Right. Um, so the advantages are inherent. It really comes down to what do you foresee, how long do you foresee yourself in the particular home? When we say 5-1, that's a five-year arm. Correct. Right? Uh, and, and I mean, if you go, I go to Realtor.com all the time because sure. uh, I always, whenever we do the uh, home show uh, with Kat and myself, I always go there to get, uh, you know, uh, remodeling tips yeah, yeah, yeah. and what's coming, all the latest yep. trends and all, because oddly enough, I'm way out of touch. But when I go there and, and I see these adjustable rate mortgages, I mean, there's a 1.6 or a 6.1 rather, a 5.1, a 7.1, sometimes a 10.1. I mean, is there anything that's off the table when it comes to an adjustable rate well, mortgage? Well, what you're finding is, and you alluded to it on a show previous with Heidi about the the products that mortgage companies are coming up with. Yeah. And so uh, I just want to back up. Arms that you think of if you were in the real estate industry 12, 15 years ago yeah. are a little bit different. Those were, I don't want to use the phrase harmful or predatory, but I'm not talking about anything along those lines. Okay, because gotcha. what, 15 years ago, you could get adjustable rate mortgages that were referred to as negative amortization loans, meaning the rates adjusted and you were paying less, your, your principal balance was actually going up every month, gotcha. meaning your payment was so low that you were acquiring interest. We're not talking about that here. We're really just talking about a, a fully amortized loan mm -hmm. um, just at an adjustable rate at a given time period. Okay, time for the disclaimer. You are not a lender. Correct. Correct. You are not a lawyer. Correct. Okay, well, you are a realtor. Yes. Okay, that's why we're here today talking about this kind of stuff. Adjustable rate mortgages, when are they bad? Well, I think conversely, if it's your forever home, if you're going to be staying there, if you know you're going to be there 15 plus years, um, it may not be the, the route you want to go. Okay. What I would phrase it as is even though you don't know, most people don't know how long they're going to stay in their home, right? Um, what you're really forecasting is, do you think, let's say you get a five-year yeah, I'll say it's a five-one, yeah. Yep. Are interest rates going to be higher or lower at any time given in the next five years? Okay. Meaning, um, I, and I could be wrong, I foresee interest rates being lower within five years from now. Okay. So you can refinance into a fixed rate loan. What you're really saying is, I believe interest rates are higher than they're going to be, so I'm gonna buy down or get a lower rate mm -hmm. knowing that I will refinance in three years, four years, five years, or whatever that is. Yeah. And 
in my opinion, the downside risk of it being capped at half a point increase every year after five years mm -hmm. limits your downside to some degree too. It's not like the rate can double sure. after five years. There's limited downside. I, if I were buying a house right now, I more than likely, um, simply because I don't think interest rates are going to go up more than they're going to come down, right. I would lean towards getting an adjustable rate mortgage knowing that I'm going to be watching it every year to say, okay, where are interest rates and possibly refinancing. Okay. How long have you been a realtor? Uh, a little over 20 years now. Is there any time that an arm does not work? I mean, it, it, can any... Uh, and I'm not talking from advice standpoint, I'm talking from, you know, working the numbers. Um, if I know I'm qualified and I can afford X amount of dollars, I certainly would be able to qualify for the arm, wouldn't I? Um, I would say yes. Okay. The, the, you actually would qualify easier with an arm because you have a lower interest rate. I think where it doesn't work is you just have a, you don't have the stomach for the unknown. Yeah. Um, your risk tolerance, you just can't sleep at night. Then it's not for you. Um, if Again, we talked about a negative amortization loan, sure. which I would never, um, never advise those. Those sure. are out there. Um, a lot of seniors get those um, for a variety of reasons to live off the equity in their homes. Do so they call place... those also reverse mortgages? They are. Okay. Um, and I'm just curious because yep. I don't know anything about this. A, a reverse. A reverse mortgage is an offshoot of an arm, okay. basically um, where you're taking out equity to live off of usually of your home. And that's a whole different product, right. whole different circumstances. Right. I would not advise those for most people, but there is a segment that utilize those. All right, Brandon, um, this is so obvious. The reason why you involve a realtor, particularly with Voight Johnson Real Estate, how do we do that? 320-774-2400 um, or online at VoigtJohnson.com. Brandon, thank you. Thanks, Bob. You have been listening to Taking You Home with Voigt Johnson Real Estate every Thursday morning, 7.30.